To make the enemies go faster automatically, we need to create a new variable enemy speed, set it to the original speed of 50. And on the start of the screen, set it to 50 again. Then when the enemies are created, set a speed to enemy speed. So they start with a speed of 50. Now copy these two blocks here, make the second as a sub event, and start deleting some lines or change some lines. So now if number of turrets is less or equal than zero and number of ammo is less or equal than zero, check if there are no more missiles or explosions on the screen. Also trigger once, and then set enemy speed to 400, 500 was just too fast, and set the speed of the enemies already on the screen to enemy speed. And just be sure to set this condition as an OR block. You will be adding a local high score feature. This means your high score will be saved into the browser. First, create the sprite to display the high score and copy the six digits from score. Of course, change the order to high score. Create a global variable high score and add the web storage object to the project. On the start of layout, set high score to integrer or int web storage local value add sorry, local value, and type in high score. Web storage values are saved as text, so the int or integral expression turns that text into a number. And then call a function high score update. Create that high score update by duplicating the score update changing the order to high score and the values inside the expression to high score too. Then on function restart, the first thing to do is to check if a score is greater than high score. Set high score to score. And then web storage, set local value to key high score and value high score.
So there we have our high score updating. If we refresh the browser, the high score is still there. And if we launch the game again, it is still there. I guess? Okay. It is still there. So that's all needed for a local high score system. Thanks for watching.